Today we're going to be doing an install of the OBD scanning hardware and software. In front of me on the table, I have the harness that is for the Model 3 right here. But I'm going to walk through them a little bit uh, so that you have a sense of what the parts are. So we'll start with the OBD Link LX. Now this is a Bluetooth scanning OBD hardware device that plugs into your OBD2 port that is on your vehicle. Now the challenge is that the Model 3 is not equipped with one. That's the hardware side. And then from a software, we're going to be using Scan My Tesla. Now there are a few other apps that will also be able to make use of this hardware to be able to get more information about your Tesla so that you not only can uh, improve your driving, but also just get more information about the car that you own, which is just a great thing to have. So first we'll start off with the OBD Link LX. This is available on Amazon. You can get it. I'll put a link below. And then the hardware pieces. So on the Model 3, it's actually a harness that will tee off from the original CAN signal that's coming in the vehicle. So in the center armrest towards the rear, there is a panel that I'll show you here in a few minutes. This is actually the black piece that is removed, the plastic piece of trim. And for me, I always like to see how things were put on something so I understand the best way to pull them off. So hopefully this will help all of you kind of see that there are multiple retention clips here that go behind that center armrest. And in just a few minutes, I'll demonstrate how to pull that off. Once you're there, we're gonna get access to the standard harness that's there with connectors. And then we will actually be interrupting that signal by placing this there. And now this part number will be in the description below but we were able to source this actually from a local place in Florida and they're very reasonable in cost, especially for the amount of data that you're getting, it's, it's exceptional. So I'll provide all that information in the description, check it out below and make sure that you support them because they supported the channel. And then of course, these are the OBD Link LXs when they're out of the box. So here it is as it gets delivered. These are the units when they're gonna be used in the Model 3 and Model S correspondingly. The tablet here, is to be able to display the Scan My Tesla app. Now this is an example of what the app looks like. Once it's installed, it'll be feeding live data. And it gives you everything from the voltage of the vehicle all the way into the temperatures of the motor, the temperatures of the cells, as well as it gives you some health diagnostics of your state of health of your battery, which is actually very critical for those who are wanting to know how their vehicle is doing versus when it was new. The other part that is good to consider is that there are different software suites out there to be able to take the data coming from the app and to be able to graph it so you can actually see what's going on. Now, these are mostly window-based applications that are open source. So with a MacBook, you'll need something to be able to emulate a Windows hardware. So I use Parallels, which is a great program. I'll Put a link down below for those who have Macs and think, oh boy, this is the end of the video, but no, we've got that solved. And then why do we have a scale here? Scales here because of the fact that everything that we are putting into the vehicle, we wanna know what weight we're adding. So this is not an OE component. So we wanna be able to weigh it. We're gonna do it in grams. I can convert it for everybody, but this little harness adds 102 grams. And it's pretty simple, 0.225 pounds. What about the OBD link? It comes in at a whopping 32 grams. So I don't know, is it really worth it? it is. Also very importantly is to look at other things that are related to track mode as to where the power is going so that we know how to best drive the car and also how to tune the suspension. So let's get into it. So now we're going to go ahead and get the panel removed and I'm going to pull it from the sides and this is definitely something you want to do at the end of the day when you're frustrated and you're like man I've had a bad day at work I want to get this off. Just pull it from the sides and off it comes. So this is the clip that we're undoing and if you're just starting to watch this video definitely make sure you watch it all the way through because you don't want to like skip ahead because you do have to disconnect the vehicle contactors before you do this so we're going to unplug it here okay and then we have our harness adapter here connect the male side to the female side and then what we're going to do before we connect this in, I'm going to go ahead and tuck this back because you can actually feed it back in. Now, this is a 2018 Model 3. There are a little bit differences between the years, so make sure you get the right harness. 
and the right part number. And it may also make a difference as to how much you can tuck it back in. Now, for my ease of access, I am going to leave the OBD2 adapter here. I'm gonna be leaving that accessible even though I'm putting the panel back because that will allow me to sync it easily and to utilize it. However, if you wanted a completely clean install, all of this could be tucked away. And as you can see, removing of the plastic panel is quite easy. So once that's tucked back, now I will go ahead and reconnect this. There. You also want to make sure that none of the wires are pinched or going to chafe against any of the metal because that will wear it away. And once that's actually been reconnected, now you're going to hear the contactor try to reconnect because it's initiating. So we'll take that. So you're going to plug this in, wait for it to get power, press this button once. You'll see the Bluetooth flash, the blue light flash quickly. That means it's in pairing mode. And then you'll go to your phone and start the pairing. So that's installed. We'll go ahead and take the panel. We're going to have the wire down the center part because that's where there's less tension. Line it up from the top and then push top to bottom and it's back in. Then we're good to go. I am very excited because I just got something in uh, yesterday that it's going to make a big difference to the channel and help provide some information to everybody as we go along. And I am wearing my Rally Ready hat that has dirt on it from the front motor. If you recall that episode of the Model S when we were basically sliding around the Rally Ready driving school. And if you don't know about Rally Ready, check it out in the links below. But I've got something very cool in the back of the 92 Civic Pikes Peak winning car that I brought that came in the other day. So check this out. What is it? There's a little peek. Alright, I'm going to start getting it unboxed and you'll get to check out what's inside and see how it's going to affect the channel. Alright, so I've got the box unloaded that was in the back of the Civic and we're going to start unpacking it and see what's inside. Oh, sweet! It's a Pikes Peak Hill Climb shirt. Wonder what that's all about. It's the new electric performance shirt. And as you might have seen, I kind of already hooked my little brother up with it because everybody's got a social distance. So this is one of my big helpers. So you guys can kind of see behind the scenes. So check him out. He's rocking. So that was our shameless plug for the new electric performance shirt. Make sure you get one. They're going fast. All right, everybody, we just got back from testing the Model 3 Performance with the Scan My Tesla app, logging the information that we are gathering from the OBD link and our adapter harness. And the results are quite exciting. We see that the rear motor actually puts out a fair amount of kilowatt. We're gonna talk a bit more about that next week. And also my thoughts on how that compares with the Raven front motor performance. I'm gonna be talking a little bit about on my Patreon, uh, Blake Fuller, which you'll have to check out. Also next week, we're gonna be doing the install of the Model S OBD Link setup and we'll be getting into the corner weights and starting getting ready for hopefully the tracks opening within the next month to where we can get both cars on track and compare their data. Make sure you subscribe and thank you for watching. Thanks for watching Electric Performance. Please subscribe, share, and hit the like button.